Alright, welcome back Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and today we are actually going to do a subscriber battle with Trainer Connor. Go ahead and say hello there, uh, Connor. Hey there, everyone. Alright, so Trainer Connor actually uh, does a lot of YouTube videos and everything as well. So his YouTube channel is Trainer Connor 100. So it's Trainer C O N N O R 100. I will have a link in the description as well. So, just a preview of his YouTube channel there. And we're going to get back over to the first scene here. Just one second for it to load up. My system's a little slow there, guys. So, Connor, are you ready for a battle here today? Oh, I'm ready to go and have fun. I right. <laughs> right on, buddy. Let's get this loaded up here. So, I've actually chosen uh, six random Pokemon, of course. And uh, you've chosen uh, what kind of a tier there, Connor? Overused. Overused. Like care. Perfect. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get this fight started. So it's going to be a single battle uh, in the overused tier category. And those are by Smog on Rules, correct there, Connor? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So let's get this started here. We'll just give it a moment here to get connected up. And then we will choose our music and our uh, Pokemon for our battles here. So how long have you been doing uh, YouTube there, uh, Connor? Well, I've been... Well, let's, let's start from the beginning. I've been a Pokemon fan for a while, and I went into the competitive battling scene for, like, a few years now, and then I figured, well, I don't speak very well in general, so I figured, why not make a YouTube channel to help my narrating skills and to also improve my battling skills? And this is where I am today, and I feel like I've accomplished a strong fate and all well, that good stuff. So. You, you're definitely doing well on your channel here. Looks like you have a lot of friends there as well. It looks like you have uh, Omnis Acid and uh, Necro Stevo on there as well as friends. Uh, oh, so yeah. I, I, th I think you're doing quite well. You have, uh, looks like here, about 100 to 110 subscribers. Is that uh, roughly correct? I believe so. Yeah, perfect. So. Guys, I will put a link in the description for uh, Trainer Connor. Uh, be sure to check out his channel, of course, guys. Give him some big support. Um, and we will uh, get right into the battle here. So it looks like, uh, Connor, you have yourself an Arcanine, a Venusaur. Uh, looks like a Zapdos, Hitmontop, Hydreigon, and an Azumarill. And uh, I have here a Alakazam, a Pyroar, a uh, Gumi. We've got uh, Rhyperior. Zebstrika, and I have Gorgeist here as well. So we'll just go in and select our Pokemon here. Hmm. I thought you said Gumi, but I think it's Gudra. Oh, Gudra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible with the names. I took like a like a six month break, and then once I came back, I never really got their names back into my mind yet. So you are correct. It would be uh, Gudra. All right, uh, I'm gonna choose my Pokemon here. And we should be ready to go here. Right on. All right, so Connor, good luck, and uh, let's have some fun here, buddy. Exactly. All right. Ooh. High Dragon to leave. Uh, lead. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure what Patrick's going to be able to do to you here, though. Uh, let's see now. Hmm. I mean, I I could attack you, but oh, go go right for it, buddy. Do do exactly however you want to battle. I'm just saying, from my perspective, I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do to that. <laughs> Most of the time when I face the Pyroar, they have a focus action. It's just... I might just go for this for that very reason there. Let's go for you, turn To be safe, I guess. Nice, nice. And... We're going to go into you. 
Zoomer. Nice. That's a really good switch. Yes. Yes, indeed. Now, let's see. We have Guga. I usually take my time with this. Actually. Oh, take take all the time you need there, Connor. Do not ever whatsoever feel rushed by the recording. Okay. Yeah, just just battle how you want to battle, bud. No pressure at all. Let's just have some fun. Yeah, let's just go for it. Wow, that, that did nothing. It actually did quite a lot, actually. That was a really good move. Mm. Are you then? Because, okay, Azumarill has, what, huge power? I believe so, so, yeah. I was expecting it to KO, but again, granted, Aqua Jet is a lower base power move yeah i believe it's about um i think it's 40 attack power if i'm not mistaken it might be a little bit more or not but i'm not sure yeah so all right we have gore guys too and it looks like it's a large variant yep so it's going to be bulky oh shadow sneak I'm not sure if... Wow, that was a crit. That was a lucky was... crit. <laughs> a lucky crit, yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't... I can't reach Z-Glue. I can't giga Gurning you. I can't... Uh, well, I do have this. Nice. Oh, man. That thing is scary. Oh, yeah. It's the Ludge Bomb. Yeah. Oh, yikes. That was a good hit. We got to finally see you being bulky there. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely into the defense here. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to... Hmm. I actually have a... I actually have a few options here with this. I could switch in this, this guy, which I'm not going to say it because... Of course. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel like going into you would be a great play. Yeah. Yeah. I see this working out very well. Airbender. Nice. Boom. Yeah, that was a good move. Yeah, that uh, that Phantom Force would definitely have hit hard onto that Venusaur, I think. Now, let's see here. Hmm. We have Alkazam, which I don't think you'll bring in, apparently, I guess. I mean, because my Dragon kind of wrecks Alkazam. Let's see. Gore guys. Yeah. Wow, I think your your whole team is High Dragon Week. Just yeah, I just randomly threw the team together, of course. Uh, I think the last time that I battled, I think I was, like, really electric weak. And, uh, I find that it's nice to play when you have, like, a kind of a weakness to the opposing team. That way you kind of have, like, a way to try to outplay them in that scenario. Um, but I haven't quite thought of what I'm going to do here yet. All right. Why did it not... Is... Oh, sorry about that. Sorry for... I got a 
Skype message here. Oh, that's all right. I didn't hear that on my side. All right, cool. We're moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I was about to say, why couldn't you turn and do a lot of damage? Because I thought Gorgas is a ghost type. Or, or it, a grass type. It's a grass and a ghost type. Now, with the actual defense that I have, it is max defense. So I'm assuming that that's probably the scenario. Plus, as well, I have more of a max HP going on here as well. So I think that's the reason why I took the hit. Unless it wasn't um, like a max damage scenario. Like sometimes the attack powers can actually fluctuate. So I'm thinking that's the scenario there. I'm not 100% sure, but... I kind of I kind of risked it, is, is what I did. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. now that I think about it, I really should have just gone for a flamethrower, which would have done a lot more than that. Oh, it, well. It might have done it, but it was definitely a safe move as well. Because, um, I mean, if I had swipped, uh, sorry, if I had swapped in my Alakazam, um, that U-turn would have done a lot of damage to it. Um, so it was kind of a good play on that, on that part as well. Um, Nice. This score guy, so. Yeah, <laughs> my buddy, uh, my buddy Zabby. I'm not sure if you've seen a lot of uh, the battles where oh, we have I fought. I just saw your video with him. Did you? He had one Gorgeis that had flame charge onto it, and it was actually very impressive that to is, see. That was, ex that was so entertaining. Like, holy crap. Yeah, it was. It was. It was pretty interesting to see it. Come on! 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 Oh! Wave. Go, go, go. That was definitely close. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if that crit mattered. Uh, oh, it. it oh. Yeah, no, the crit definitely didn't matter in that scenario. The uh, special defensive uh, effort values that I put into it definitely uh, were not there. So, <laughs> it it definitely didn't matter for the crit. So, okay. let's see here. Um. Now, the way you're playing with your Substrika, I'm assuming that it's Scarfed, and in which case you will outspeed me. Or am I just overestimating the speed of Substrika? Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not uh, Scarfed in that scenario. Uh, I'm actually Life Orbed. Okay. Yeah. The only reason that I went into the Zeb Strike is because I knew that any kind of electric attacks, of course, wouldn't really do anything to me. Uh, plus, as well, I really needed to get a flame charge off. Um, the whole idea behind Zeb Strika is it's a very speedy Pokemon, but it's it's designed to be definitely an attacker, I think, anyway. Yeah. Now, there are definitely methods you can use to make it uh, a little more bulky and a little, a little bit more of a staller, but I I haven't quite tapped into that yet. Now, a lot of my methods that I use to battle with uh, are all with, like, attract and, like, status conditions. Um, so, like, you'll see me use, like, random, like, little Pokemon that have attract onto it. So, like, for example, like, there's a Bulbasaur that I have that has attract. And I remember one time I took out, like, a Rotom Wash with it. Just, uh, wait, that was probably not with the Attract. Because I don't think those have genders, do they? Here's another thing that's random. You have a Thunder Wave hit my High Dragon, and I get paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a good move there. Um... <laughs> I did not see that coming, holy crap. Yeah, not too many people put the Thunder Waves onto it. Um, at one point in time, I also had Hidden Power Ice on my Zeb Streakas, but uh, this one doesn't have it for some reason, so I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> I think I maybe swapped it out for, like, Double Kick or something. Hmm, Double Kick. Yeah. I don't see that being very useful. I mean... Not if really. Only, if only Zipstraka would have gotten low kick, I don't know if it gets it. I'm not sure. 
I, th I think if it did, I would have put it onto it rather than the double kick. Hmm. Alright, then. We have a problem here. Because, let's see. Alakazam kind of runs trying to everyone here. <laughs> Man, that was a great play on your end, Angel of the Night. <laughs> Going for Thunder Wave. Why, th why, thank you. It uh, it definitely helped out, I think. And I have Mega Alakazam. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? I, I seem to have been using Mega Alakazam a lot. Um, that and I think Mega Venusaur as well. Oh boy, that is not good. Well, on the plus side, I've actually taken out a Pokemon here, so that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, I think I have a plan. I think I did. I'm gonna go with this. And then we'll see what I can do with that. Because that was... I know, I know, Alkazam is pretty frail on the physical split. Oh, it definitely is. Yeah. Heck yes, heck yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. yes. And Kagamate. Okay, can you just stop in Kagamate in the Alkazam? It's not helping. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I'll be faster than you, because you're a mega Pokemon. So we're gonna go with that, unless... Now, the reason I switched is because I was predicting an, ex an extreme speed. Yeah, oh, I completely forgot about this thing. Oh. Alrighty then. Yeah, the extreme speed, I think, would have definitely taken out the Alakazam. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, we're going to switch out of here. Yeah, my battling skills are about average. I've been improving. I th I think you're doing quite well. Like, <laughs> like we're both tied up right now, so that's actually that's really good. Like I'm not I'm not saying that I'm like any magnificent battler either, but the fact that right now we're both tied, I think right now we're both evenly matched uh, for this for this fight right now. So I think you're doing really well. Gilbert, yes, I predicted that. Uh oh. <laughs> but of course, you're assault vested. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Um... You know, I, I really, really think that there would be an ability that would lower your special attack Sort of like in Kagamate, but... It'd, it'd be nice if there was. I'm not sure if there is one. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I might look it up after the battle, but I don't think there is. Hmm. I think Intimidate should lower both of the stats, both attack and uh, special attack. Isn't that Snarl, or am I just... Yeah, it has to be Snarl because that's... Or Noble Roar. Oh, it could be. Oh, man. At this point, it's like, well, I... Hmm. I just lost my... Colios. So that means I'm gonna... Yeah, we're gonna bring you Hitmontop. Oh, nice. Hitmontop is pretty darn excellent. It provides excellent coverage. It can bring the momentum back to my side if possible. But if not, then I guess I'm not 
I, I definitely think that the hip on top is definitely going to be a problem for me. Oh, nice normal gem. I probably should have done that initially, but wow, that did nothing. Great. Um, yeah, I, this battle though, I mean, like, either I'm underestimating or overestimating the bulk of things or what, I don't know. But we take out Gilbert. Well, I, I do that too as well, so, I mean, it's nothing different than what anyone else would do, of course. <laughs> How it is, I guess. Rhyperior. Yeah, Rhyperior is really awesome. I like the design of it. I like its move pool. It's yep. yep. Amazing. I know this specific one actually has been with me since... Would have been... Oh gosh, would have been the first original black and white, I think. Ooh, black and white. Yeah. Okay, your, your Rhyperior is so bulky, like, that was a critical hit mark punch, and that did nothing. Yeah, this one here um, is, um, it's actually max defense and uh, max attack. I like that. I really like that. Yeah, it's, it's gotten me out of a lot of tricky scenarios. Now, I used to actually use that with, there's been a few other Pokemon that I've paired it up with in the past, um, for attacking... Pokemon, usually on my teams, what I'll try to do is I'll choose one defensive Pokemon and one special defense Pokemon, and then two attackers, and then two special attackers. And then depending on if I have two speedy Pokemon, I'll choose two more that have the defenses to them. Um, but my process is, is that I need three and three. That's usually how I how I think things through. But this, this specific Rhyperior has been paired up with uh, Snorlax and Haxorus in the past. And it's, it's always, it always does a really good job. I agree. Finally, we're going to take that Rhyperior. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, um, I wanted to be able to have a clean switch in for this Pokemon. So. Oh, no. Thick fat. <laughs> oh, boy. This is not going to be good. This uh, this Pokemon definitely doesn't have any fat on him. Like, look at him. He's like he's, he's like a st like twigs. Like <laughs> so skinny as ever. All right, oh, let's yeah. let's see here. This is the, this is probably going to be the final blow between both of us. So I'm hoping minimum damage here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you can live it. Come on, no, you can. Come on, no, you can. On, come on, come on. Why not? Okay. Yes. Okay, that was okay. <laughs> that was awesome, Connor. That was a good battle, buddy. Oh man. <laughs> okay, that crit though. That that crit was definitely overkill at that point. Well, I'm not sure if it mattered. Probably not. No, I think it was definitely overkill. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh. thank you for the battle. That was great. I'm saving that. Oh, you're welcome, bud. So, pretty well at this point. Uh, the match is over, of course. Uh, thank you very much for joining me this evening if, uh, as well. Um, I definitely want to get into doing this more, so perhaps uh, the next time that we battle, we'll do the same thing again? Oh, definitely. I'm always looking for that kind of opportunity. Perfect, perfect. So, I'm just going to say uh, thanks to everyone for watching. If you guys enjoyed the battle, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, as well, the link for Trainer Connor's YouTube channel will be in the description below. Uh, yep. Hit the subscribe button, of course, to both of our channels. And uh, if you guys uh, enjoy the battle, that's awesome. Post your comments down below if you want to see more uh, videos like this, of course. And if you want to join me for a Skype battle session, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, anything, of, any, any way, any method possible, of course. So that's where I'm going to end it here for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a good evening. And Goodbye, uh, <laughs> take care, guys.